Okay, your next assignment, guys, says sexual harassment current case. Now, what that means is instead of having something in the book or in a handout to read, you're all going to find your own example of sexual harassment. Now, it says current, and by current, I mean within the last year or two. You know, I don't want something 10, 15 years old. doesn't necessarily have to be a court case. Um, it's just an incident, an example of sexual harassment. Um, you can find that in a newspaper, in a magazine, um, perhaps you've heard it on TV, on the news, or news show, or, or TV show, or whatever. You can find it anywhere. You know, summarize it, um, talk about it. Now, since you'll all be basically reading different things, when you blog, you may want to talk more generally about sexual harassment. You may want to reference your particular incident, but remember when you're blogging, you know, normally you're blogging, you're all reading the same thing and you're discussing it. When you blog about this particular assignment, you'll all be reading different things. So again, you may want to talk a little more generally about sexual harassment in general, which means when you're finding your incidents of sexual harassment, you may want to look up a little bit of information about sexual harassment in general, since that's what you're going to be blogging on more likely. You know, I'll give you a little bit of starting information. And when you start to look out there, you might see that there's two different kinds of sexual harassment. There's what we call quid pro quo which means basically you just offer to exchange something for sexual favor, you know, whether it be a raise or a job itself or more money, whatever it is, you know, position, whatever it is. Then there's what we call hostile work environment. That's going to be the majority probably of what you see because these days people aren't stupid enough to just say, hey, I'll give you a raise if you have sex with me. Usually they're not that foolish. So probably what you will find mostly is hostile work environment. And hostile work environment is very subjective. That's one of the problems of it. It comes down to if a person feels uncomfortable in their job, don't feel that they can perform their job to the best of their ability because of a hostile environment. What they feel is hostile that's been created by, you know, reference to or because of their, their um, I don't want to say sexual orientation because it's not always orientation, but a sexual um, basis, you know, whether it be gender or sexual orientation or, you know, what, whatever it is. So kind of two different kinds that you may see there. Um, right, wrong, good, bad. You know, I, I, I really don't. I'm going to let you guys go anywhere you want to with this discussion. But as I said, since you'll all be looking up different cases, you may want to blog in a little more general terms. That's up to you guys, though, whatever you want to do. But your sexual harassment case is something that you find yourself. Um, and as I said, fairly current. So there you go.